and I have a really hard time. And I was like, why is that be on the Parsha? So I'm like, okay, I can do Gematria. My, my whole family loves doing up Gematria. And we throw in numbers randomly, and it's a big party. Um, but so I, I actually looked at uh, your, your whole name. You had the whole name. And uh, so basically, the Gematria of Gila, first of all, Gila, uh, as you know, it's one of the Gila meanings of it, it stands for uh, exaltation, which is a very big uh, meaning of happiness. And uh, Ethel is noble, which is very nice. It's a nice translation. Public, I don't know what it stands for. I looked it up. It means bagel in Russian. Really? That's what it's funny. I'm going to put down the genealogy. If you're very excited, and a noble bagel. Um, <laughs> anyways, so the Gematria of Gila is uh, 48, and the Gematria of Ethel is 431, and public is 144. Um, so I was looking up, I put them all together, and I was looking it up, and basically, the Yamaki of, uh, of your opinion together uh, comes up to 623, which is uh, Hadrea Kodesh, which is the yeah, Dharma Club Sanctuary, which is a very, it's a very nice, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. Um, and my birthday is uh, June 23rd. June 23rd. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's what part of my tour, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's actually really cool. Um, so, that, so that's a, but then I was actually looking around, and it was something just kept coming up a lot. And I, you know, they do gematria plus minus one. So gematria minus one. Well, actually, first, okay. So gematria plus one for six twenty three is six twenty four, which is meosarosh, which is the uh, the defense of the head slash helmet, which I thought was very appropriate. It was, it's, it's a. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have here because he is having a sympath of the head, which is. But I mean, it was, it was a big situation going on. But what's kept recurring was actually in. Minus one, which is six twenty three, which was uh, sorry, uh, Ezra, which is the head of the goats, and I didn't really quite understand where goats come from because also in the public, which is public, which is one forty four itself is uh, there was one of the translations is kid of the goats, so I was like wondering what's, wondering what's, what's all these goats coming up and everything. <laughs> so I, I went to I figured if if public itself was mentioned goats and and the names together plus a uh, minus one had to go down with the gila and I. I, so I, I added one, because the first name was goats, and the whole name together, minus one was goats, I figured he was plus one was goats, but it came out to pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I, looked up, I looked up like goat symbolism in the Bible, and in, it, it was actually very interesting, because in, in, according to Judaism, goats are a symbol of strength, and it, it appears multiple times throughout your name, but according to the Christian Bible, goats are a symbol of the devil. So, <laughs> we're having a simple thought, yeah, I think it's safe to say that. Thank God that with a name like Gita Etel Bublik, that you're Jewish. Because otherwise, if you're a Christian, first off, I mean, people might give you a weird and funny looks, but I was in the whole big uh, situation. I actually also looked up Ethel, um, and I got this website, which, set up, which, which had a whole list of things that Ethel stands for, because I had no clue what, what it was. Um, it says that it's the name Ethel, stands for Awesome Consu- uh, You're a fan. I took shorthand for um, So the, you're, you're, you're very, you're very, um, you're very awesome, and you're, uh, you take on, you take on considerable responsibility, but you prefer to work alone. So I know that you take on a lot of responsibility. Working alone, I didn't know if that worked out so well for you. That you're quick to comprehend and can be depended on by any job, and you can do any job well. So I know you can do a job well. Um, I, and, 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 but it's, again, you work, you work together with people, so I wasn't sure what was going on. It says because you're a perfectionist, you will do too much yourself, and you won't delegate responsibility. And I don't know if that's necessarily true either, because I know you like your, with the with the Woody's list and the, everyone's doing everything. I know that's what I was getting more and more confused. Um, then the next point, just I guess I'll reading right after it is you are, you are quite straight and to the point. So I went back to the website, and it turns out it was like is a Kabbalarian website that was saying only if I told your first name. And I'm kind of whole life. <laughs> but um but going back to the whole goats and goats and goats and everything. So we said, I mean, thank God that we said, you know, with a name like Kita Dwa, we have Jewish. And that's what this whole thing is about. This whole, you know, it's, it's a, it's a kind of a, I call it a Sibash I think we finally got out. Um, but, uh, but I mean, we're, we're here to, we're here to show a lot of appreciation, a lot of thanks. Um, and I mean, so I didn't know your old man was going to be Arizona. But uh, a little, I mean, a little, a little known fact about me was that I was in a wheelchair for a month during my channel because people thought I had a tumor in my knee. Turns out it would be a stress fracture in my foot, but whatever. Really, doctors aren't all they're cracked up to be. But, um, 
But um, when I was in the wheelchair, so like, you know, I, I, I was thinking a lot, contemplating a lot. I'm sure that you can do a lot of stuff the same for you. Where you're, like, sorry, you're blind. You were doing a lot of, I'm, just, I'm assuming, deep introspection while you were, um, while you were in the hospital. And, and you, you, there's a lot of things that you can come to appreciate and come to realize. And when you, as soon as you get out, you, know, like, you, can, you get back up, you're back in the scene, you're back doing everything that you're doing. And there's a lot of thanks to be given. Um, and it, it's, it's like, it, it really shouldn't stop there. And, and, and it, bringing the Parsha back into everything, in this week's Parsha, we repeat the Asar uh, Zedra, we repeat the Ten Commandments. And you know, it, it's funny like how the Torah doesn't really repeat anything. Like, why, why is it repeating something at all? And why is it repeating the Asar Zedra? Um, and it's something to, it, it's, you know, you can, you can, as you go on, sometimes you need to relook at things, sometimes you need to read things, and, and sometimes there's like rebirths in a sense. Um, and this is something that, this, this, a situation like this is something that you can consider a, a rebirth in a sense. You, you had a, a, a huge moment in your life, and you came out, you know, with no, picky, you know, you came out with a full force, you know, as, as we all know you can do. Um, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't let that slip away. You shouldn't, you shouldn't let this type of impact. And none of us should really let that slip away. Like, it, it, thank God, you know, it, it, you know, we didn't go through it, but, but we all know what Gila went through. We all went through this river. We all saw her in the hospital. We all, we all, you know, we saw her read her blog. We all read, we, you know, we all being, kept very much up to date about the sharks. <laughs> um, and it's something that we should all walk away from. We should all, you know, look at the, look at everything again with like a new, with new eyes and new everything and, and really appreciate what we do have. So I want to, Thank you for hosting the party, and you know, thanks for letting us all in. Yes, yes, you are. I want to say a few words after the party. Okay, my name is Jenny Bublik. <laughs> my name is Jenny Bublik. I don't know if you all know me, but I'm Kiva's mother from Miami. And I always heard about everybody in Kiva Chamoil because all I hear is Kiva Chamoil rock all over the Facebook. And I, you know, I, I know I make all of you, some of you, but I don't know names. My daughter knows I'm really bad. And they, I know some names because I had to talk to some people every day, like Nikal and I don't know. And I know my I know my I know my friends and I know my Ronana people because I you know I know John and that I look good. Karen and Yoni and Kim, Kim. Okay, I know some of my people because you know I I like I have very bad memory, so I'm getting old, so you're gonna, but you guys, I really, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, I mean, I don't know what Gila would have done if it wasn't for all of you coming to visit her at the hospital, you know, it's the most amazing thing to me is to have, you know, I'm a million miles away, having my daughter in a hospital wasn't easy for me, and then coming here, and I couldn't understand, like, God, when these people come visit her and all these posts, things, and everything, but you, it means so much to me to have such a great Kavira, people like you guys, and such thick and it's such a beautiful thing, and I, I hope you guys continue this. And you know, I'm always here for you. I mean, I, you know, I not even get on a plane, but if I have to come, I have to come. And I, I like to come for simcha. And next time, I hope I really come for a, a big simcha of my daughter and all of you. You know, and hopefully I'll move back to Eretz Yisrael and I'll have parties too. Because you know, as a as a Cuban Jew, you know, I don't know if you know me like he likes a Cuban Jew also. Yeah, and, and, um, I don't we're Latin. I mean, my parents are Cuban Jews, and. That's why we're so happy people that like to dance and like to do everything. And someday we'll cook some Cuban food for you guys, but I'll have to think of less for it. But um, really, you guys, I mean, each one of you, I, I don't even know how to, I mean, you guys have been more than a family to Gila. Gila has always told me that, thank God she moved here. I mean, that, you know, everybody helped her moving during this one year and everything. We we're so far away, but from the bottom of my heart, really, I have no, I, you guys are the most amazing. I didn't know what to expect and I went crazy go to buying all these drinks and the lady's like, what are you buying? What are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. My daughter told me she's having all these people, you know, like, I, I couldn't cook it, but I'm staying at the lady made some stuff, but, you know, I'm like, I, I, this week I haven't been able to okay. stay straight, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you don't let me get off and she buy